What's going on? It's Big Dog Bark and the country boy from Memphis, Tennessee. I want to welcome y'all to Sports Zone TV where we talk about relationships, sports, and anything else in between. So right now, it's football season, college football around the corner. We just had the Hall of Fame game not too long ago. So now, your boy finna get in the coaching mode. So y'all saw me long. I've been chilling. I've been jumping on panels. I've been doing this, that, and the third. Now I was in coaching mode because now I see where the problem is. Now Coach Dog was on the prowl. I'm going to make this video short, but I'm going to get right to the point. See, while I'm in coaching mode, I'm going to give y'all my philosophy. And this is one, one of many videos trying to help you young brothers and young sisters out there trying to get your special person to be in this relationship with your special teammates. You know what I'm saying? Because I know everybody talking about they want to ring. Everybody talking about they want to win. And all that right there. But I'm going to give you some pointers from uh, my coach and POV. You know what I'm saying? So, first thing first, I'm going to break down my philosophy. And it's four tenets. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to hold y'all too long. It's just four little simple rules that I buy by in my everyday uh, dealing with people. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes down to dealing with relationships, I always tell people, it's like, man, when I, when I call a woman my girlfriend, she was my girlfriend. Not for a day or two, but a little while. It was some length on them relationships. You know what I'm saying? The last person I called my girlfriend, I ended up marrying her. You know what I'm saying? I've been with her 20 years. So apparently I know something about this relationship thing. But I'm going to go and break y'all down with this uh, philosophy of mine and hope y'all will come back to this channel and get some more coaching tips, some more coaching advice and all that right there because I want to see y'all win. I want to see everybody to be successful when it comes down to relationships. So number one, when it comes down to my philosophy is this right here. Both parties can make plays. Both parties can make plays. You know what I'm saying? It's a trust thing. You got to be able to trust who you are and trust the person you with in order for y'all to win. Both of y'all can play. Both of y'all can do what y'all got to do to help the team win. You know what I'm saying? So the truth of the matter is, do you trust your partner enough to help you get over the hump, to help you get that ring, to help you get that championship if you really want? If you don't trust your partner, man, ain't no sense to keep calling the plan. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing what you got to do till you find the one that's for you. And we just going to keep it 100. Number two, it's all right to pass the ball. And follow. Meaning, if you don't know what you're doing in certain situations in the relationship, I ain't talking about who got control, who got the power of the relationship. I'm talking about in certain situations that pop up every day, whether it's emotionally, mentally, financially, the kids, whatever the case may be, situations pop up every day in a relationship. And if you know what you're doing, fine. Go ahead and do what you're going to do. But if you don't know what you're doing, pass the ball to your partner and follow. That goes for men. That goes for women. It's pass the ball. If you don't know what you're doing, quit dribbling. Quit shooting bricks. Pass the ball. Give it up and follow. Let, the, let your partner do something for a minute and see what they're going to do. You're going to get the ball back, which goes to number three. If you're following if you gave up the ball, be prepared to get the ball back. See, that's how I always ran my offense is like, man, pass the ball. If you got it, you got it. If you ain't got to give up the rock. I'm not going to be mad at if you making the best decision for the team instead of trying to make the best decision for self because the best decision for self can lead us to a loss. And we're not trying to lose. Or we're not trying to lose as much. We're trying to win on an everyday basis. And if you ain't trying to win, then what you playing for? What you playing for? So like I said, if you give up the rock, be prepared to follow. But if you follow him, but be prepared to get the rock back. Be prepared. We going to need you. You need women. Women need men. It is what it is. But we got to be able to pass the ball. We got to be able to say, all right, it's your night. You got it. It's your night. You got it. I'm going to fall back. I might need to rest a little bit. I might need to get my mind straight. I might need to do this, that, and the third. You got it, shouting. Do your thing. You got it, my guy. Do your thing. We have to have trust in each other that the person you pick is going to help you win. When you have a day off, when you have a bad night, 
You got to be able to trust your team as it leads you out of victory without missing a beat when you having a bad day. And number four, tempo. Are we going to play at a fast pace or are we going to play at a slow pace? But this is the thing I got to say for all those that want to play at a fast pace because we live in a fast pace society right now. How can you play at a fast pace if you have no experience playing at a fast pace? If you have no experience dealing with the opposite gender, how? How can you play at a fast pace when you don't know what you're doing at a slow pace? Now, for some that have been around the block a couple of times and then did this, that, and the third, they can play at a fast pace because they already know what they want and they already know what type of player they already are. And they know what they're looking for to help them win the ring. But for those that ain't have no experience, that ain't did nothing, and hurry up time, I want to win, I want to win, I want to win. Hey, we got to slow the game down. We got to work out some kinks. We got to see what you're good at and what you're bad at. So we can see what type of person you need on your side to help you win. You feel what I'm saying? I done did a lot of research over the past couple of months about jumping on panels and this, that, and the third. I'm in coach mode now. I'm in coach mode. So like I said, you know what I'm saying? Both parties can be the playmaker. If you're going to lead, lead. But if you're going to give up the ball, give up the ball and be the follower. But be prepared to get the ball back. And what type of tempo you going to run? If you know what you're doing and you know what you want, you can run a high-powered offense. You can run a fast-paced offense. But if you don't know what you're doing and you still got some kinks to work out, you still don't know this, that, and the third, hey, slow it down. Find out who you are. Find out what you need to be successful. That's how this really is. Let's quit all this SBE. You know what I'm saying? Both on both sides. We can get this right and we want to get this right. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, this big dog barking. The country boy from Memphis, Tennessee. This Sports on TV. Hey, subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And let's win, baby. Let's get it in and let's win. I'm going to holler at y'all.